the old girl home from chaos we're gonna make this thing do cool stuff uh i mean just kidding we really pe dude people non-stop and i appreciate y'all trying to help me save some time by warning me and giving me all this advice but you know while i do miss some details when i'm doing my research i'm telling y'all and i'm not the peer pressure guy either so don't do oh no you're gonna do it and then you're gonna end up putting turbo no no and if i do i'll change all this other stuff too this motor is going in this truck and all it has is a brian tooley stage three cam that's it the cam and the supporting springs and uh, push rods, brand new valve seals, and the headers. I keep forgetting the headers because they don't really they don't really count to me. I don't, that doesn't count as a big thing to me, but it is to other people. Cam and headers and supporting head mods. That's it, dude. I didn't even get a car intake. I didn't do. A fucking different pistons nothing i didn't change that i'm not doing upgraded coils i'm not doing none of that stuff so like i don't i don't need a four lady i really don't it would be a waste of money to put a four lady in this truck now if we were doing turbo or supercharger yes yes i definitely would see the reason why i need a four lady but while i appreciate you guys trying to point out and lead help you know give some advice and pointers Please stop it with the 4080 stuff. I don't care. We try. We found a, a transmission shop that uh, people believe in around here. He's got great reviews. He does great work. Offers a great warranty. We gave him a shot. He knew what he was talking about. He mentioned a lot of things that we had already read about. So I have no reason to not believe that he built us a quality transmission. He did a Corvette shift servo, which we see almost everywhere. He did Sonax um, corrugated clutches to help push the heat to the outside of the, the core of the transmission. It pushes the heat out where the fluid is so that the fluid can go out to the cooler and come back and actually do its proper job of cooling the parts. Yeah, there was some other thing. Some, 
the shifting. I forget. But anyways, it's. He said it's good for 450 to 500. I'll be damned if we get over 400 out of just the cam and what we've done. I don't think we'll be over 400. In this truck, we're not chasing numbers. We don't need 400. We don't need 450. We're not looking for a number. We want it to sound good. That's why we picked the cam we did. It is a little aggressive, but we want a great sounding cam. We're gonna do nice exhaust and that's it. We want this truck to be reliable so that we can take it to shows and meets and cruises and do we're we're in okc and there's a lot of route 66 cruises here so we can participate in those if we have a nice reliable truck we can go do the 100 mile cruises we can go do the 300 mile cruises if we want to in a cool truck have a good time and not have to worry about having a flatbed around to tow us back home so that's it that's that's where we're at uh, we did run into a little unforeseen issue. We didn't think too much ahead about the torque converter situation. Um, we don't have a lift, and the only way that we've had such an easy time dealing with the transmissions is because we pulled the motors. And if we're putting it all back together, we decided that met mostly with his advice, we don't want to be dealing with taking the transmission in and out three or four times trying to figure out torque converters. So while a stock one might work, we still have a pretty good chance of pushing through it and not having good street drivability. So we're not gonna risk it. I've read into people use the i6 Trailblazer converter and it's a little higher stall, but I read a lot of people that did that. Also like eight out of 10 of them went back again and actually upgraded to a proper stall converter. So what we're gonna do, we read a lot, watched a lot of videos. Most people agree that 2,600 to 3,000 for a street cruising, street driven vehicle. BTR stage three. With a BTR stage three cam, they, they mostly agree that you wanna be somewhere between 2,600 and 3,000 stall. You might wanna be higher if you're riding a trans brake at the track or something like that, but we're not doing that. Like I said, we just wanna be able to take off from a stoplight and cruise on the highway and stuff like that. So we have to find a torque converter. Uh, we're gonna, we've found a couple that we think are gonna be the ones off of, you know, Summit or Jegs or something like that. Um, I made some local posts on our local Facebook pages to try to see if I can find us a, a good deal. Like, you know, say if somebody bought a 3000 stall or something like that and they decided to upgrade or something and they've got it for cheaper well duh that's up our alley you know if we didn't know that they'd be as much as they were i, I didn't plan on spending another 350 to 400 dollars right now so that is what that is so we're gonna try to fish one out local if we can't find one then we're gonna go ahead and order one we're also gonna get an upgraded cooler a nice fat training cooler um, just to ensure even more that we're giving this transmission all the cooling that it needs to take care of it and hopefully make it last a long time so uh, this one's a little disappointing I kind of thought that you know here I am again, getting a little ahead of myself, thinking the shit's gonna go a little smoother than it does, but um, I haven't posted all week, so I wanna go ahead and get this one out to you guys just to get y'all up to speed and let y'all know what we're dealing with. Um, I still, I think with, with these hesitations that we've encountered, um, I think I am gonna go ahead and just mock up the engine itself in the truck and just so I can get some of the wiring knocked out while we're waiting on, you know, the torque converter to come in, the cooler to come in, um, and some other stuff. Cause if I have the engine in the truck, I can get the fuel lines cut and adapted and I can get the wiring situated. So, um, that's a big change of plans from what I've been saying, but I think for where we're at right now, that's what we're going to have to do. And, um, uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for getting me over 250 subscribers. That, that, like, it's been two months. It's been like four days over two months since I started posting videos. So I can't thank you guys enough. 
and and even saying that like it's jumped like 10 subscribers in the past three days and i didn't post this whole week and the subscribers keep going up so i need to work on my social media game and get my instagram pumping a little bit better that'll help bring some more attention to the channel and our builds and all that but spread the word yeah yeah you guys are doing great um i kind of saw like a plateau for a while where i think everybody that did care and was sharing that we reached all those people so i need to reach out a little farther and get some more outside people's attention but we're doing great um once this covid stuff kind of goes away a little bit i'll be able to get with my uh shirt people try to get some shirts cooking up and uh we're gonna try to work on some stickers or some kind of cool merch um that'll help us get a little revenue going to help fund the bills a little bit more and that'll help get some merch out to you guys that want to support and uh you know spread even more by wearing it people's what the fuck is the maddie x builds and get that stuff going so thank y'all please stay tuned remember to share and uh show your homies you know, I know a lot of y'all sitting around milking that $1,100 unemployment check, and I know y'all ain't doing nothing but sitting down playing with your tally whackers. So share, show your homies that are into cars, and uh, show them what we're doing. Thanks. Y'all have a great weekend. <laughs>